We're day tripping in Barrie and it is freezing today. But for this girl who doesn't like winter, we thought let's come to Winterfest and try out all kinds of winter activities. So today we're gonna try lumberjacking. We're gonna try ice sculpting and most importantly, we're gonna try to stay warm. Josh, you make a living in ice sculptures. Tell me what makes it so exciting for you. Well, first of all, it's to hang out in the cold. There's nothing better than that being Canadian. The theme this year is a Canada 150, so it's great. So to cut through ice, you need some pretty heavy duty machinery, don't you? Yes. So what do we, how do we do this? Yeah, so we have chainsaws, a whole bunch of uh, side grinders. We use electric chainsaws. Okay. Um, the reason for that is um, you'll get to the lumberjacks later uh, today, likely. Yeah. Um, they're using gas-powered chainsaws. They're heavy. I'm a wuss. And you got a car for you know eight hours a day. You don't want to carry something heavy. Hey Josh, that is gorgeous. I can't believe you're doing that with a chainsaw. It was amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. And for people that aren't professionals like us, you come here and get a block and practice yourself. Thanks, Josh. Oh, thank you. <laughs> the trick, follow the smallest child. taking a tour of the ice sculptures. What's your first thought of it? They're amazing. Yeah? What do you think? Um, that I probably can't do this. <laughs> if I can do it, you can do it. What's your favorite ice sculpture, guys? Uh, I think the hockey one. How long do you think it takes somebody to do one of these ice sculptures? Tamara, what do you think? A day. A day. So the parliament buildings actually took 19 hours. 19 wow. hours 19 only. hours, which is good. Dangerous! Don't go crazy. teach people how to be a lumberjack, is there like a whole culture behind it? There is a culture behind it and it's a relatively small pocket of people. It's uh, very, very big in Australia and New Zealand, very big in Canada, very big in the United yeah. States. Uh, Europe is uh, a little bit behind, but they're, uh, they are picking up the sport. 35 years of lumberjack experience. I actually started in 1982 uh, at college. It's a varsity Three, sport for two, a lot of colleges one, and universities. Two. Red track. Here we go, right? Oh, this is so simple. Let's go. Yeah! Let's go! Okay, so now watch how this is going to be working, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get things all set. Go! We're starting to build. Go! Is it going to be Canada? Is it going to be the United States? No. No drinkings. Go, 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 go! Oh, There's not many more things that are this Canadian. <laughs> nope. No, this is the real thing. <laughs> Tell me Can what this is. This is maple taffy that we make from maple syrup. So it's basically 100% pure. It's yeah. maple syrup that is boiled up and, you know. Uh, and just delicious. Just put on ice and it uh, freezes down. It's the best thing ever. Oh, cheers. I would uh, basically hold your camera, but uh, you can't have one. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> cheers. Cheers. Mm. It was one of those things where you need seconds. All right, even though I'm not a huge winter fan, this was a lot of fun, but I am still a little cold, so it's time for me to hitch a ride and go get some hot chocolate. <laughs> Whoa! You see how fast they're going? They're 80 kilometers an hour. So now that I'm warmed up from Winterfest, it's time to really get into some fun. We're here at Snow Valley, appropriately named because it is in Barrie, the snowbell capital of Ontario. And we're gonna go snow tubing. And we're gonna notice the difference between real snow tubing and extreme. I'm all about extreme. All right, Ryan.
Ryan, you are about to celebrate your 20th year here. You you started working at Snow Valley in the tube park when it opened. I did, yeah. About 20 years ago, I started as a tube park attendant out on the hill and uh, have been here for about 20 years now and kind of worked my way up. All right, so worked your way up, but we've also seen this expand a little bit, haven't we? We sure have. Day one, we were actually walking up the hill. You didn't even, we didn't even have any lifts here. We had to hike all the way up 10 stories and then tube down and then hike back up. And we've slowly seen a progression over the years to now that we have uh, these lifts here that pull you all the way to the top. So there's no hiking involved. But anybody can snow tube. We basically say if you can sit, you can snow tube. All you have to do is sit going up the hill, walk over to a lane and sit and go down the, down the tube run. I'm good at sitting. I think we should try this. Excellent. Let's do Any it. Any tips? Any tips for me though? Um, no, really, you know, sit down, hold tight, and uh, the louder you scream, the faster you go. Alright, so I got my lift ticket, and I guess I have to watch a video? Yeah, so basically when you show up today, um, we'll just go over some of the safety features. Okay. Do not grab the cable as you're being pulled up the hill. When you're at the top, it's very important to remember, do not push yourself down, okay? okay. It can be very dangerous. Hang on to your handles the entire way down until you come to a full stop. Let's do this. You are very brave to go down the snow tubing hill by yourself. Is it scary? I didn't go by myself. I went with my friend Layla. How old is she? She must be much older than you to be able to protect you going down this fast hill. Mm, she's eight years old. Okay, two eight-year-olds against a 36-year-old. Do you think I could do this? Yes. Yeah? Is it? Was it scary at all? Mm, no, not really. No? You weren't scared going down that fast? No. No? Any tips for me? Um, keep your eyes closed if you're scared. It feels like nothing. Okay, keep your eyes closed. So you close your eyes the whole time? Yes. Yeah, okay, so I've got this. Any other tips for, for me? Mm, wear the suitable clothes. Okay, am I wearing suitable clothes? Yes. Okay, that's two. Anything else? Wear a helmet. Oh, didn't wear a helmet. All right, are you gonna do this again? Yes. How many times? Four. You're gonna go four times? Okay, so I can go four times. All right, Catherine, let's go down together, okay? Okay. okay. Well, we're going up 10 stories up on that hill. We're coming down 80 kilometers an hour. So I'm ready to do this. But first, we have to make our way all the way up that hill. going on the 400 highway. That was too fast. <laughs> Let's do it again. Well, we made it back to the top. The wind is howling here, but that is not making anybody afraid of the conditions on the hill. These kids are going by themselves. Some of them are going with parents. I can't believe it because that is freaking fast. But we're gonna do it again. What's the one question you get asked over and over again? <laughs> the number one question, please spin me. Oh. But we don't, we try not to spin them. Yeah. Because it, sometimes they get a little uh, ill or something like that, right? So don't, don't spin don't me. Don't spin too much. But they <laughs> always ask to be spin. That's the number one thing they ask. Here we go again. Now that was a fun day on the hills. Just like they said, you don't need any skills to go to Snow Valley to snow tube. You just have to have a bit of courage, which eventually I got. So thanks for day tripping with me. I'm gonna warm up here by this fire. We'll see you next time.